Hey gun people, maybe horsey people too. I've heard, uh, I got this uh, blower over here. Uh, I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks. You just get a tank and it's got a little handle on it. I'll show you when I light it. And then I dump this ice bucket because it froze. And some horse people have told me that they just use this fire to melt their ice. Uh, this thing normally I just run around and burn, burn the grass a little bit. Um, it helps uh, burn down your weeds. So let me get out here and see if I can't light this sucker. So basically it's a, uh, comes with a hose, you hook it up to a tank. It's got a little super boost pressure there. You light it and you walk around, you can kind of burn weeds or, or burn things down. Got it at a tractor supply. So let's, uh, let's light this sucker. Turn on my gas. Come on, lighter. Okay. So it really looks good at night, believe me. It doesn't do justice in the daytime. So uh, if I wanted to burn some weeds, I would just go around and burn them. It's pretty cold out here. It stays lit. And then, you know. So what I was told that it, you can melt ice this way and people out where they don't have heaters melt their ice in their water. I don't know what other use you could use this for other than to keep somebody from coming in. Because I'm thinking they're not walking out the door with that. But I wanted to burn this ice. I also heard somewhere that you'll, the ice can blow up if you heat it too quick. So I don't know if that's true. Maybe some physicist right now is out there going, Don't do it, dude. You're going to blow. So I just wanted to see this big old hunk of ice here that I dumped out of my bucket. Uh, how long it would take to burn through that. Oh, shit. My flame went out. Oh, that's why I didn't have my little, it's got a little knob here that you can adjust on how much it comes out. And I had it down a little low. So if I keep it like that, it won't go out. So let's see what happens when we burn this. Well, I thought it would burn quicker, but it's not burning that quick. It's bubbling. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. It's still pretty solid. Man, I don't know if this is the best way to get rid of ice, but I was told people that don't have heaters, that's the only way they go out there and they melt their water. I see some big old cracks coming. I don't know if it's about to explode because <laughs> I'm heating it too quick. <laughs> is bubbling underneath the water. I don't know if that's melting. Well, I guess it would work. All that steam, I'm wondering if I'm 
if the water is going to the bottom. Well, anyway, 50 bucks at uh, at Tractor Supply. Like I said, you got to be careful. Of course, you don't want to do it in the summer unless you accidentally want to start your pasture on fire. But like today, I could go around anywhere I see long grass or one to cut down. The grass. And it's pretty much going to take it out because it's so hot. Uh, turn this off. It's so hot, it's not going to burn a whole bunch. Uh, let's see how can I set this here. Without. There we go. So anyway, uh, non-eventful. I remember somebody said, when somebody made a comment that they uh, melt their ice with one of those, somebody was like, man, you don't want to do that. It'll blow up because you're heating ice and cold. and it'll Maybe it'll blow up if it's in the bucket itself before you dump it. But again, uh, I've seen that. I got it for weeds, but I also heard in a crisis if you needed to melt ice, you could use it for that. I'm not sure how it changes the water if horses should be drinking it after it's burnt. Uh, I wouldn't think it would hurt it, but anyway... Figured we'd test it out. There's my test on fire and ice. <laughs> ice melts when you put fire to it. Holy shit, that's a big discovery. 